Hey guys, welcome back and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Wii U from start to finish. So if you've just picked one up and you're a bit confused by everything, this video will show you exactly how to set up your Wii U console from start to finish. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so the things you should get when you buy your Wii U is the gamepad and console, the gamepad dock, Wii sensor bar, HDMI cable, gamepad power adapter, the power adapter for your console, and finally, this is what it all should look like together. All right, so to start setting it up, plug in your power adapter for the console, then put in your HDMI cable, and if you're gonna play Wii games, plug in your Wii sensor bar. Now, find a nice spot to put your Wii U. I recommend somewhere where it gets plenty of ventilation and airflow, just so it doesn't overheat. Then, plug in your HDMI cable into your TV. Anyone's fine. Then, plug in your power adapter for your Wii console and the power adapter for the gamepad dock. And plug them in with the power off, and then once everything's plugged in, then turn the power on. And there you go, you can connect your power cord to the dock or you can just plug the cable straight into the Wii U gamepad if you prefer. Then finally, let's turn it on. Alright, so now your Wii U should turn on and the first thing you're going to have to do is sync up your Wii U to your gamepad. So, if you just press the little red sync button twice to let you sync up your gamepad, pressing it once lets you sync up Wii remotes and pro controllers, etc. So the next thing you want to do is grab your Wii U gamepad and there should be a red sync button on the back of it. If you just grab your stylus and just press that once, that's all you need to do. So just press that once and then the little symbols should also appear on your gamepad. So the next thing you have to do is you just need to press the symbols in the order that they are in your TV. And that's pretty much it, it's as easy as that. Once you put all those in, it should start saying connecting to the Wii U console. And just give it a moment, it should take no less than a minute and your gamepad will be synced up to your console. And it's pretty easy, you can also resync it up to other Wii U consoles, it doesn't just have to be synced up to one, but it can only be one at a time. So anyway, next thing we're going to be doing is setting the language. So I speak English, as you can see, so I selected English. All right, the next thing we're going to be doing is setting up our country of residence. So I know a lot of people here are from the United States, so you would select the United States. But for me, I'm from Australia, so I clicked Australia. And it's just telling us that we can now turn it on with the power button. And next thing we put in is the time and date. So go ahead and put in the date and time. One thing I will say is I don't think the Wii U accounts for daylight savings. So when that does happen, you do have to edit the time, I believe. But there might be an option in it where it automatically syncs up. So for the time being, let's put our time and date in. And this is also good for things like Animal Crossing, where some games use the internal system's clock. So it's probably good to set it at the correct time and date. Now, next thing is it's just telling us that it's going to automatically configure to certain settings like HDMI, 1080p, etc. So we're just telling it that we've set it up with a HDMI cable, and now we're going to be setting up the TV remote. So. You can do this if you want, it's not a necessity, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be setting it up and showing you how it all works. All right, so you can set it up for just a TV, or you can do TV and other devices. I'm just gonna do TV. So, select the first letter of your TV manufacturer. So my TV manufacturer is TCL, I believe, so I selected T, and just go through the list and try and find yours. Just note, it probably won't have every TV manufacturer out there, but if it does, then you're in luck. So now we're trying to sync it up. So this might take a few times. You press the input or the volume buttons and see if it registers on the TV. If it doesn't, you just select it didn't work and it'll assign it to another signal. I did this a few times and it always registered on the fourth signal. So if it takes a while, just, just be persistent. It should work eventually.
All right, so when I put it on Signal 4, it started working. So as you can see, when I press the volume button on the gamepad and the input button, it's working on the TV. So you'll just need to do this a few times just so the Wii U understands that it's all working. So just press the buttons a few times until the worked button shows up. All right, and there you go. Your Wii U gamepad is now configured to your TV. So you can do a whole bunch of things now. You can, as you can see right here, you can change the volume. You can press the guide button. You can change the input. So if you want to change HDMI or you want to put it on normal TV or anything else, you can do that now with the gamepad. And probably the best thing about it is you can now turn your TV on and off with your Wii U gamepad. And this is pretty good if you want to play certain games on just the gamepad in handheld, which is actually what I like to do sometimes. So I'll show you that in a second. So now I'm going to boot up Ocarina of Time and just make sure and double check that it's working on just handheld mode. Obviously for Wii U games, this probably isn't going to work because you obviously need the gamepad and TV for Wii U games, but for virtual console games, and etc. They should work just on the gamepad, which is pretty cool. So now I'm just putting the signal back on just to double check and make sure that it works on the TV. And there you go. As you can see, you can switch seamlessly from the TV to the gamepad and vice versa. Now, obviously the Wii is not a fully handheld system, so you do have to be close to the console. All right, next thing we're going to be doing is setting up the sensor bar. So if you're playing Wii games, this is useful. So just select if it's above or below your TV. Just note as well, the Wii U gamepad actually has a sensor bar in it. So you can actually use that if you want, but it's probably just more ideal to set up a sensor bar because it's just smaller. And next thing we're going to be doing is setting up the internet connection for our console. So go ahead and find your internet name. Now I'm gonna be not showing the password for obvious sakes and my IP address, so those bits will be skipped. So I've put in the password and now the Wii U is trying to connect to the internet. And this could take anywhere from 10 to 30 to one minute. So there we go, all connected, no issues. My console is now connected and it will save that connection. That way, if you ever disconnect, you can automatically reconnect without having to put all your information in back again. And the next thing we're gonna be doing now is we are going to be adding a user to the Wii U. So this is pretty important. So this is how you set up your Nintendo Network ID account. And I'd like to just remind you that that is actually separate from your Switch ID. There are two different things. You might get a bit confused by that from the start and you might try to set up your Switch ID, but it is not. It is a Nintendo Network ID we are setting up, which is completely different. But you can merge them together, which makes it convenient for adding funds. So we're gonna add in our Nintendo Network ID. So I'm putting in my secondary NNID account. And so now just set up your email address that you have that Nintendo Network ID account selected to and it may ask you to go into your emails and just confirm everything and just make sure that it's you. So put in your email address and it will probably ask you to put it in again. All right, there we go. So now it's just asking us to confirm that everything's correct. So if it's all correct, press OK. All right, so now you just want to link that up and your Nintendo Network ID account should now be all linked up to your console. And now it's time to register a user me. So this is just your personalized me, which can be used in certain games, etc. So if your Nintendo Network ID account already had a me registered to it, you can actually just re-register the old one, which is what I'm doing right now, or you can just create a new one from scratch. But for this video, I'm just gonna reuse my old me because I've used this one since the launch of the Wii. 
All right, so the next thing we wanna do is set up parental controls if you have a child that wants to use the Wii U. So this is just good if you wanna set age restrictions or block them from going on the Wii U eShop. But if it's just you doing it, then there's really no point. But just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go through it and show you how to set it up. All right, so I'll just ask you to put in a secret question. And then I'll just ask you to put in a email address again. So I just skipped that part and it's verified my email address. And you just have to add it in again, which is pretty standard for Nintendo. All right, now we can start setting the restrictions. So the first thing is game rating. So all you do is just slide the little dial to select what content you want the user to be able to play. So I have them all selected as playable. And now sliding to the left means you can only play G rated content. All right, so you can block online interaction in games like voice chat, etc. You can block the internet browser, Wii U shopping centers, Miiverse, but Miiverse is closed down anyway, so it doesn't matter. You can stop them from adding people or accepting friend requests and other miscellaneous stuff as well. So just for this, I'm gonna turn them all off because, well, I'm gonna be using all this stuff. But once you've saved that, you can quit the parental controls because we're all finished. And so, there we go guys, our Wii U is all set up. We can start playing games and start enjoying your new Wii U console. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If it was helpful, please hit the like button as it really helps. And so with that guys, I'll catch you next time.